Hi there, I'm Sue Resig, and today I'm going to show you two different ways to make applesauce. And applesauce is such a treat to have, especially when it's warm and especially when it's homemade. And I'm going to use different, a blend of apples, just happens to be what I have on hand. We have the advantage of growing apple picking in our area at an orchard that is uh, an organic orchard. So we have spy apples and I also have honey crisp. But you can use whatever apples you have available to you. I would not recommend the, um, it's a variety called Delicious. That one does not cook down as well for an applesauce, but just about any other kind uh, breaks down pretty easily and makes a nice applesauce. So to start with, I've got two pans because I want to show you two different ways to do it. You choose whichever is easiest for you. The first way to do this is to leave the skins on. This uh, way of making applesauce is very little work up front because all you have to do is quarter your apples and then you're going to remove the seeds. We just don't want to cook the seeds in there because we don't need anything coming from the seeds. But you don't even have to worry about coring it because that will come out later. But you can see I'm just removing quickly that center chunk where the seeds are. And you don't have to cut them up fine. Uh, you'd be surprised at how quickly apples cook down and how easily. It's not, it's not a lot of work. It really isn't. This is one of these things that you can do when you have a little energy and you have a little time. It's, you know, I know we have enough things going on in our day, but once in a while it's nice to have a little treat. And this applesauce would make a very nice dessert. Um, some evening and, and we know that the apples are good for us and having them cooked down this way is very nice. And you can see how easy this process is. Just I'm just quartering the apples and taking out that center section. So let me just finish up this one real quick and I can show you how I get it going on the stove. I'm only going to do a little bit of both because I don't need a ton of applesauce. I, I don't want to make so much that I can't eat it within well, let's say the week. I, I don't want to hold it longer than that, and I'm not going to freeze it because we don't eat the frozen food. Okay, there we go. So I've got a little layer of apples in there. If I was making just a single batch, I probably would have doubled that. And I'm putting in about a half an inch of water. And what I'm going to do is put it on the stove. going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to turn it down when it comes to a boil and just slow simmer it the way we slow simmer our vegetables and let it simmer probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We'll come back and see how it's doing at that point. Now that's for the one kind. That's the kind that you don't peel. Now here's the, the way, other way of doing applesauce. And you might look at this and you say, well, why on earth would you do it this way? It's, it's more work. Well, just the work's done up front, that's all. There's no work later after it's made. So I can quarter the apple. Again, I'll go in and, and remove my, this time I'm a little more careful to make sure I remove that, that um, kind of a hard core that's in there. I don't want any of that left because I won't be able to remove that later. And I'm just quickly going to peel it with my knife. I like hand peeling. There's a couple different ways to peel. I'm gonna show you that. You can either do it with a knife do it this way, and I would do my whole apple just, I get into a little rhythm. I cut off the end cores. Do you want to come in a little close so I can show that? And, you know, if you're just doing a few apples, it's really not going to take you too long. You could get this going 10 minutes, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I come in at the top at an angle. It's kind of like making the letter M up and then down, up and then down, there. Nice little wedge out of there. There we go. Easily going. You can see, again, I'm leaving the chunks big. I like to have big chunks. I, I, you know, I like my applesauce a little bit chunky. I really do, it's kind of fun. So I'm not going to have you watch me peel all these apples, but I just wanted to see, show you I am going to get that job done before it goes in. Now, and the other way of peeling it, of course, is to use a peeler, and I can do it this way, too, where I'm just going to 
And if you have one of those hand crank peelers or an electric peeler, you could use that. But usually, I hate to pull one of those things out to use when I'm only making a small batch. It seems like more work than I need to clean up afterwards when I use one of those uh, bigger peelers. I used to use that when, as a family, you know, we were cooking for five and we did make a lot of applesauce or we were peeling a lot of apples for cooking reasons. Now, I that happened, that worked very quickly to go through with my peeler and then I can quarter it that way. And then, as you can see, I go back to doing my letter M. I don't know if that's really an M, but that's what it feels like. There. So there's your options. The one I ended with here, with using the peeler and coming this way, is my favorite. This is what I will do for the rest of my apples, and I will continue to finish up apples here for the pot. All right, I will see you. Now, when I get this pot done, again, I'll add maybe a half an inch of water when it put it on the stove with the lid, when it comes to a boil, I'll turn it down. And uh, we'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you how it's looking, okay? Thanks. All right, our applesauce is ready and I want you to see how it turned out. This is the one that I left the skins on. And you can see, it just I just did a little bit. It took 30 minutes and it's all nice and tender now. All very soft. And then I'm gonna show you what, how we fix that. And here's the other pot now. You, look, at it's already sauce. I didn't even do anything to it. And uh, this took an hour because I had a lot more apples in it. I just, after half an hour, I looked in there and I had to push the apples that were on the top down into the sauce and then they cooked down the next half an hour. But look, at I haven't done anything to this other than just stir it and it's all nice chunky applesauce. That turned out beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to finish the one with the skins. You saw how much easier it was to prepare this. We just quartered it, took the seeds out, and threw them in the pot. But now here's where the, the extra work comes in. Since we didn't peel it ahead of time, I'm putting all those apples into our food mill. This is the same food mill we use for our Hippocrates soup. I changed the screen from the middle size screen to the small screen, and we'll see how that works. It just seemed like the fine screen would work better. Um, I didn't want any apple peel chunks going through. So just like when we do the Hippocrates soup, we do a couple times to the right, a couple times to the left, and we just keep going back and forth while the applesauce gets pushed down through the screen. And it's, it, what it does is it's, it's keeping the skins back in the, the pot and it's, it's pushing the nice uh, pulp from the apple down through. And this is going to give us a very fine applesauce, very nice. Uh, a lot of people will do this if they're doing large quantities and they don't want to have to peel the apples. I don't mind peeling the apples and once it's cooked, it's all ready, as you saw from the other pot. But now I've got to do the, the work. It's just do you want to do the work up front or at the end? That's your prerogative where you want to do it. Because it does take a few minutes to uh, get this to all go through. And it's probably the same amount of time it would have taken me to peel the apples. But sometimes if you have some very red apples and you do it this way, it'll make your applesauce come out with a pretty pink color. And that's nice just because of the variety of seeing it that way. All right, there we go. I think we're in good shape. It looks like all we have left is just this apple peel stuff. There's maybe a little bit of um, sauce in there. Let's let get one or two more swirls and see how it looks. There, I think that's good. Let's see how our applesauce came out. Now there, it's on the bottom, and I, I clean that off, everything that got caught on there. And see how fine that is? That, that's the same texture as a applesauce you might purchase from the store in a jar. That's how fine that comes out. And if that's how you prefer it, you can do it that way. Let's see how the color looks different. Now the colors are different because this had the skin on it. So you can see it's pinkier versus the more yellow style. And you can see this is chunkier. So that's the difference in how they come out. So you might have a preference as to which you like. And you know what? We know the proof is in the pudding and it's in the eating. So I'm gonna try 
our pink one with the skins and see how that tastes. Mmm, that's good. A little bit tart. A little bit tart. Let's try this one. Let's see how this one tastes. And they both had the same mix of apples, so that's that's not it. But having the skin in it might have made a difference. Let's try. Now this one's hotter because it cooked longer. Mmm, that one's sweeter. Okay, so leaving the skins on it makes it tartar. Taking the skins off and then cooking it made it sweeter. And I didn't have to do the milling. So if you don't mind doing the peeling up ahead, you know you're going to get a sweeter applesauce at the end. That was a good little test. I didn't know that. Mm. So we both learned something today. All right. Thanks. Hope you get to try some applesauce. And it doesn't take long. You can see if you do a little pot of it with maybe three apples, four apples, half an hour. And if you had a fuller pot like I did, like eight apples, it's going to take about an hour. About halfway through, just give it a stir so that those apples on the top get down into the sauce and cook. And that's it. All right. Enjoy.